Okay, so I'm going to show you really quick how to um, apply an unsharp mask to an image before giving it to a client or before printing. Hopefully I can get this done while the kids are still eating lunch and you don't hear too much screaming going on back there. Um, this is my original image. It's completely edited. Unsharp mask is the very, very last thing you want to do to an image. Um, so I always make an unsharpened copy and I keep that copy and then I make another one that is their final copy or the high resolution copy that I either upload to a gallery or give on a USB. So um, here's my original image and I start by duplicating the layer. So Command J, Control J on a PC and then I'm going to zoom in to We'll start at 100% just so that you can really see what's going on here. And then you go to filter. Oh, sorry, we need to back up for a minute. Um, before, anytime I, anytime I give a client an image through a gallery or on a disc, I always crop the image down to a ratio, not, not width and height, not inches, but a ratio of 11 by 15, 11 to 15. So, um, switch it there, there, 15 to 11. This is um, what is recommended by um, Damien Simons from the Ask Damien Facebook page and his blog. Um, I will try to remember to post a link with this to his blog because it is very, very, it's a major resource for me and um, anyway you can read all about how to do that on his blog but um, the reasoning I do it is is because of what I read and I'm super bad at explaining technical stuff so I'm gonna leave that to him but so I crop to 15 to 11 and then I sharpen you don't you want to sharpen at whatever whatever you're gonna give your client if they were gonna if you don't do galleries or you don't do discs and they're going to order prints, you're going to give them, you're going to crop it down width to height and sharpen on that specific print, whatever print you're giving, you're printing for them. But since I'm doing this one, kind of it's just as a general sharpening, we're going to stick with the 15 by 11 ratio and I'm going to zoom in to 100%. And then I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to sharpen, and I'm going to go to unsharp mask. Um, you can already see right away, these are pretty much what my settings already were previously. And if you click on the preview and watch her eye right here and then click on it again, you can see that it's starting to, you can see the edges being sharpened and a little more crisp. So there's three sliders. There's the amount slider, the radius slider, and the threshold slider. Again, I'm going to post a link to Damien's blog. He can explain in much more detail about why you do what you do. But um, the amount basically is how much sharpening is going on the overall image. The radius is pretty much how, because sharpening works by, by getting these edges crisper, the radius is like how big that that's going to be. So at a... At 128%, it's saying that 128, that's that's how much of the image is being overall sharpened. If you move this radius up, your lines or your edges are going to get bigger and they're going to get, they're going to look like halos or big glowing pieces. And the more you go up, the worse it gets. So what the goal is for sharpening is to find that perfect spot that um, will be, okay, hang on buddy, here, the perfect spot that will be, that will give it just enough sharpening to look good in print and give it that crisp edges without being overly crisp. So for a 15-11 ratio, I am usually right where I was, 128%, usually right around two and a half maybe a little less, but you can see with the preview that it's just nice and crisp around the edges and not overly done. I also look for little places like 
around the nose. Make sure there's no like major glowing going on. If you have a lot of glittery stuff, you could actually erase the sharpening off of the headband if you wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it for now. So 100% is, is pretty far zoomed in. I usually look at 100 and then I look at about 66 and then I look at about 50 because that's about where you're gonna be able to see it in a print. Um, I will go in and touch some of these up. Some of these little little glowy things are bothering me. They must have been glitter from her headband sharpened or something. But the threshold, the threshold is basically how, okay, I'll see if I can explain this, but um, basically how, how many pixels are getting sharpened. So if you take this all the way down to zero, it's sharpening, let's go back to 100%, it's sharpening all of your image. You can. It's sharpening every single pixel in the image, including your background, all of your um, skin, and that just doesn't look right. So if you move the threshold up, it takes it off of similar pixels, is the way I understand it, and so that it's not showing up so much, and that helps get it off of your skin and off of your background a little more, since those are all like a whole bunch of pixels that are right together. Um, I'm usually right around 15 to 20. I think for this one, I'll s let's go like about 18. I like that. And you can kind of see how it's not, now all the skin is nice and smooth and it's not all over the skin. Um, go ahead and look at 66% and then again at 50%. So turn your preview on and off a couple times and make sure it's how you like it. The goal is to only have a small crisp edge, just enough to make it pop, but not enough to make it look like a big giant halo around it. And you'll be able to really tell the difference by moving that radius up and down. You can adjust this too. We'll get a little closer so you guys can see, but you can adjust your amount too if you feel like it needs a little bit more. The more you go up, the more it's gonna apply this 2.4 pixels to the image, oh, to the overall image. So I just keep kind of bringing this back down until I like it. And I actually like it right there too, but since this is, would be a digital file, I like to keep it pretty light since I don't know what um, sizes they would be printing it. So I'll keep it right back at 128 where I had it. You can turn your layer on and off and you can see how much sharpening is applied. If you still feel like it's too much, you can go ahead and bring the opacity down on your layer. I like it where it is. I am going to actually make a layer mask though right here. These little glittery spots on her eyebrows are dry, or eyelashes are driving me crazy. So I'm going to just bring my brush up to 100% opacity and I'm just going to kind of go over these little spots that are really, whoops, that are kind of glowing at me because it was kind of driving me crazy. I'm gonna spot inside her eye right there. Mm, I'm gonna put it back. Okay, so I just wanted to fix that one little spot and then um, you just flatten your layer, save it as a sharpened copy, and that's it.